we still need to do a bonus play of Give Me a Freestyle. Ah! Oh god, no, I'm not with the Slim Jim guy. Yes, let's do that. Sometime. Eventually. Mm -hmm. Game. They put checkpoints in the weirdest and most obnoxiously annoying of places. You won't believe them. Okay, bye. Okay. Also, their crossbows are the slowest things in the universe. You can watch the arrow sail past you and run around them if you desire. They're so hard. That is not how crossbows work, people. Crossbows are fast I didn't and ask why they keep smiling even as you're beating them up. I'm so happy to be dying, finally. <laughs> Whoa, what is this? First person, person view, because I'm cheating a little bit. You're supposed to activate the platforms and then jump across them, but it's much easier to just stand on the platform, aim down, and then activate the platform. Clipping issues. Not clipping issues, it's just... Whoa, they're not. They're spaced a little too far apart, so it's hard to make the jump. Oh, it's more effective to see jelly bear. What? Jelly bear? Well, you remember know, the gel, um, no, the gummy bear. This is called a jelly bear. Oh god, they're the swimming. Gummy bears? Off. Like the TV show? No, it's supposed to be a gummy bear. Oh. It's because he's a hologram. Holograms are green, you know. This remind this entire game reminds me of Dragon Tales. Oh god. Screams Dragon Tales. It does, does it? Dragon Tales. Hey, I watched Dragon Tales. Hey, I did too. I used to watch Dragon Tales. I kind of more watched it for the lulls, but... I thought I made you watch Dragon Tales. I watched it for the lulls. I thought it was hilariously bad. I think I was, I was a little too old for Dragon hey, Tales. Hey, it got its job done. I learned about it. I suppose. I don't remember if I actually... I think I... I remember watching about three episodes. I don't really I used to watch it good. all the time. I think it's one of those things where it was on at a convenient time. Yeah, it was, it was on a convenient time, but it was also kind of hilarious for all the wrong reasons. Namely, it was just really Oh, bad. by the way, if you jump over the fence, you die. What? If you jump over the fence and then land in the water, you immediately die. Why? Is there like, is that water not... You just do it. Explosion. Okay. It's, it's not. It's, you just do. Oh. You know what I think is the best is the best way to die in a game. In in the in the adventure game, the Neverhood, there's this um, pit with a sign. With a, the one place you can die in the entire game is this pit with a sign next to it that says, "Do not jump! Do not do not jump down here! If you do, you will die, and you will get a game over." And so, if you jump down that, then you get a game over. I think uh, the programmer probably put that in there just for funny. The programmers didn't put that in there. Everyone they were forced to put it in. No, the um, the uh, I'm assuming that the the the, the, sta the, the stage d d designer, or the level director, whatever it's called, um, level designer, um, put that in there. For levels. But just everyone always blames the programmers for everything. It's like the programmers don't do everything. Programmers. No, but they're cool, so I tend to give them a lot of credit. Like, these are slightly too close together, so you have to use your double jump and then just kind of fall. Like, you know... kind of obnoxious. You could say that you blame the programmers mm. for that, but they did That's not their fault. It's, it's the level designers. The floaty controls are somewhat the, the programmers' The floaty fault. controls are the programmers' fault, yes. The level... That, now that, that was is, the level design. This ugly thing it's is... It's true that I blame, I, uh, I blame programmers for things, but I also credit them with a lot of stuff. So I don't really think about levels. Oh yeah, numbers. you can chase your tail. Well, that's because I want to be in the game industry, so you don't know that to or not. I'm chasing my tail. And you get twirling the controller too fast sometimes for Sparrow. Go back here, my What's tail! That? What are those question marks out of here? Oh, quest updates. Jeez, how long is this? This is worse than in Metroid. It gets tiring by the end. Like at the end, we're like, oh, this is well, no, work. you can't skip the the um the elevator scenes in this thing. You can kind of use it on Metro. And, and the they're always the same length. In, like in this game, they're all different lengths because it's the time it takes to load the stage. The loading times in this game are terrible. That has to reload the entire stage if you die. 
is really kind of stupid. It's like, okay, I died, so what? Don't make the enemies respawn. Like what? Which is probably why I died. Whoa. Don't tell me you have, do you have an air bubble? No. That's just sparks. So you have, so you have an infinite amount of time? Uh-huh. That's He good. can hold his breath. He has gills. Where the heck am I? In the deception. Yeah. Tomorrow has gills. Actually, he has like a little miniature air tank inside him. Uh-huh. They're called lungs. Yeah. <laughs> they have these weird things called lungs. Ever heard of them? <laughs> Goodbye, people!